Hi Pisces, this is your love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, and rising sign. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, so Pisces, for the month of September, you guys had two jumping cards here. You have the runner and you have choice. So this is either you or your partner that keeps running away from the connection because they need to make a choice between you and someone else. Now in this top row right here, I do see entanglement, which is the third party card in this deck. So you guys keep um you guys keep going back and forth with someone who can't make up their mind. I feel like this person like one minute you guys are good, the next minute you're not. You don't know where you stand. You don't have much clarity on this connection or you don't know this person's intentions but i was channeling that whoever you guys are dealing with there is love here but somebody has been in like a long-term connection that they don't know how to walk away from or leave in order to be with you also i was picking up the energy that someone sees a future with you but what you want is right now like you want some type of stable solid um commitment with this person and they may not be ready right now it doesn't mean that this person doesn't love you though because i see that they do um i also see confusion here as well all right so let's see so we have chaotic we have off course we have entanglement which is the third party card in this deck and we also have careless all right so i feel like someone has been really careless with this relationship it could be a marriage for some of you because i'm also picking up that energy as well um so someone has been very careless with this marriage or with this relationship okay there's been third party um problems and issues and the relationship can't seem to stay on course because of this person running back and forth and you just feel like things are always chaotic here okay nothing's ever set in stone I feel like um, a lot of you, you may feel like this person is very secretive. Some of you could be dealing with someone online where you you know very little about them. It's like you only know what they tell you. But the more information you try to get out of this person, it's like they push you away or they shut down. I feel like you could be having a conversation with this person and then you ask them something deep or you ask them a question that they don't want to answer and then they shut down okay and this is for someone this is not everyone's message pisces um because this is a general reading so take what resonates and leave the rest but i feel like some of you are struggling to get um a relationship off the ground here and for others this could be a marriage where something something is off course and you feel like you can't get it back right Okay. All right. So let's see. Now on this bottom row, we have reflection. We have confusion. Divine timing. So I feel like at some point divine timing is going to um, come into play here. Because this person that's confused, they're doing a lot of thinking. They're reflecting on the connection. They're trying to make up their mind about something. But I feel like they're running out of time with this divine timing card. And we also have reincarnation. So if you think that this connection is over between you and this other person, because there's a lot of clocks in this reading. We have three clocks in this card where this person seems like they're confused. They don't know what to do or how to handle something. This could be you feeling this way also, Pisces, um, if it's not your partner. But I feel like the universe is going to be stepping into this situation. And it's only a matter of time because someone is sitting on the fence and it is time that they get off the fence and make a decision. Okay, we do have reincarnation. So if you're not speaking to this person right now and you guys broke up, I do see you guys coming back together. I see you're trying to um, work on this connection in the future. And I feel like it could be that the universe steps in and sort of like pushes something forward. Also, you know what I'm picking up? If you are not speaking to someone, if you guys broke up with someone and you're waiting to hear from them, I do see you hearing from this person this month. Okay, I'm picking that up for, for some of you as well. Like you'll be hearing from someone that um, you may have thought the connection was over with. But this person has been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of reflecting on um, sort of the past and what they want moving forward. And I feel like someone's going to be choosing you. 
All right, so let's get into your reading and let's see what else the universe has to say about the situation. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? What messages do you have for Pisces for the month of September? What do they need to know about the situation? Some of you could be dealing with someone who's very stubborn in their ways, um, very egotistical. They want you to cater to them or... Um, I don't know. I just feel like some of you guys, Pisces, are dealing with someone who they don't give much to the connection, but they expect for you to give everything. I feel like you may have started the connection off that way. And then you thought that this person was going to just like step in here and meet you halfway. And that never happened. So let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? What messages do you have for Pisces? What do they need to know for the month of September? I keep saying the six of cups here. So some of you could be waiting for someone from the past to come back. Um, or there's some nostalgic feelings about someone that, where you thought the connection was over. And I keep seeing the two of cups. So some of you could be dealing with a soulmate. Because I keep seeing the two of cups come out. Well, not come out, but I keep seeing it when I shuffle. And I also keep seeing the six of cups as well. Spirit, what messages do you have? For Pisces, what do they need to know about this connection or this marriage for the month of September? What messages do you have for Pisces? All right, so someone is very guarded here. You could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the star card, Aquarius, energy. And the Eight of Pentacles. So some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Earth here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right. So someone is very guarded in this connection, Pisces. Okay. It's like they're, they're trying to be hopeful. And they're trying to keep the faith that you guys can come back together and fix this. I see that you will, though, because you have the star card here. So I feel like somebody still wants to work on this connection. Okay. Um, Someone may not be telling you this, but I feel like this person is going to reach out to you or connect with you but they're guarded right now for some reason so you guys could have had an argument maybe this is your energy um pisces okay that maybe you're guarded or you could be dealing with a fire sign that's guarded against you i'm also picking up stubborn energy here like someone may be wanting something to go their way you may be waiting for someone to give you a commitment and it's like this person is not ready to commit to this connection but they're they also don't want to be without you i keep seeing the ten of cups too so some of you guys are definitely married here we have the ten of cups or or someone sees you as emotional fulfillment or they see that's what you bring to the connection that's what the person i feel like they don't want to let go of you but also there i feel like somebody is not ready to Settle down and be with one person is what I'm picking up. All right. So some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn because we have the devil here. Or you could just be in a toxic situation where you're sick, you're sick of things being in hangman status. Okay. So we have Pisces energy here as well. So we have your energy, Pisces. Or you could be dealing with another Pisces, but something is stagnant and you're just tired of something not moving forward. There's a lot of toxic energy here with either you or your partner or your partner could be dealing with someone that's really toxic. That's keeping them from coming your direction. There could be some type of blockage here because we do have entanglement and this is the third party card in this deck. We also have the queen of swords. We have the five of swords so some of you could be dealing with air signs libra gemini aquarius while wow, we have the five of cups somebody has some regrets here okay water sign cancer pisces scorpio or um this could be your energy maybe you're regretting something or your partner i don't know who this is queen of swords five of swords and the five of cups okay some of you Either you cut this connection with this person because you weren't getting what you wanted from them and you were tired of waiting. You were tired of empty promises with this Queen of Swords energy here. I feel like you're no longer thinking from a place of emotions and like um, 
your heart space is like now, you know, you're thinking from logic and intellect and you know what you want from this person and being as though you're not getting it. I feel like you could have walked away from someone with this five of swords energy. This person is like they're being very petty, though. It's like they're either waiting for you to make a move or for you to call them um, and tell them that you want them back. Or this could be this could be you waiting on them. But somebody is regretting how they acted or how they treated you or something that they said. They still want this connection. They're not over this. Yeah, because we have the Seven of Swords. I mean, I'm sorry, Seven of Wands. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Lovers. So some of you could be dealing with the Gemini. But with the Lovers, the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands, see, somebody is being very guarded here. It's like they may be pushing you away or they may be acting like they don't want this connection, but they do because they're thinking about it and they're still evaluating the situation. Like if you don't want something, you're not going to think about it. You're not going to try to evaluate it. You're just going to move on and let it go. Somebody is not letting this connection go because there's still a lot of love here between you and this person, but you're waiting for someone to be honest with you. It's like you're looking... For this person to be transparent and vulnerable and you feel like you're not getting that also with this sword coming straight down the middle here to this apple i feel like someone is causing um a blockage between you and your person it's like they're coming in the middle of you guys and some of you know about it and some of you don't so it's like they're they may be trying to keep someone from being with you pisces we have the sun card here some of you could be dealing with the leo or this person just sees you as their happiness but it's something here that this person, it's like you want them to do something and they're not doing it. And it's stressing you out with the nine of swords. Okay, this is worry, fear, and anxiety. You may be feeling like you're wasting your time with this person. You're never going to get what you want from them. They keep coming in. Oh, this slid right out of my hand. They keep coming in, um, offering you new beginnings, but nothing becomes of these new beginnings. We have the full card here, Aries energy. So some of you could be dealing with an Aries. And we have Libra, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with the Nine of Swords and the Sun card. So some of you could be dealing with the Leo as well. But um, we have a lot of thinking here. Healing somebody just really in their head with the, five, with the Four of Swords. And this person sees you as their soulmate with the Two of Cups. So even though you guys may not be speaking right now, this person has a lot of love for you and they want you guys to come back together. I feel like you could be on the same page with this person if they would give you some clarity, um, let you know what their intentions are. Like, where do you stand with them? I feel like you need to know, like, how do you fit into this person's life? It's like, I feel like somebody runs in and out. It's like one minute they're with you, one minute you guys are good, you're talking, you're vibing, and then the next minute this person disappears is what I'm picking up here. Um, this could be another water sign too for some of you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Yeah, so we have the King of Swords energy. This person goes distant or they act cold and it's like they act detached and you'd be like, well, what the heck is going on? We were just fine like the other day or last week and now you're acting like you can't be around me or something with the king of swords here yeah see with this knight of wands this somebody is being sneaky but it's you no know, it's showing here because of the entanglement card because the next card we have in the deck is the seven of swords so we have the seven of swords here we have the knight of wands in reverse sagittarius energy so some of you could be done with the sagittarius and this person is just, they're not being honest. They're not being truthful. They want to be with you, but they know what you require. You require for them to settle down with you. And I feel like this person, they're just not there yet. Yeah, but see, they don't want it to end. Look at this. Like, oh my goodness, this person needs to make up their mind. We have three major arcanas in a row here. We have justice reverse. We have the world reverse and we have the will. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra. Okay, but if not, you feel like you're not getting any justice in this connection. You don't want it to end. This person doesn't want it to end. But something has to give here because the will of fortune is in reverse. So there's no change here. And that's what you're seeking in order for this person to be in your life. You're seeking change from them um, or for them to just relax, like sit still, like let me know what's going on with you. Because someone is just too flighty. 
And the reason why this person is flighty, though, because we have the Three of Cups here. We have the Chariot Reverse. Maybe you could be dealing with the Cancer, Major Arcana. Yeah. Six of Pentacles Reverse. There's not an equal give and take in this connection. And you're just sick of this person going back and forth between you and another person. I feel like some of you know who this third party person is. Or you have an idea that there's a third party. And you're just fed up with it. Because nothing is moving forward here. But this person keeps coming in, offering you love and offering you something stable with the Queen of Pentacles. Or this is you being very nurturing to this person. Because you could be in this Queen of Pentacles energy. Or some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And you're tired of this person coming in like the knight in shining armor one moment. Okay. Um, with this flighty energy. Because this is a knight. So this person may come in offering you this cup, telling you all these good things that you want to hear, but then none of it sticks. So then you're you're at this type of energy right here with the three of swords. So I feel like some of you are just fed up with someone and you're waiting for a change. Somebody keeps coming in with this baby ass offer with this page of pentacles. And you're like, this isn't enough. Like I need for you to do more or be more present, put more effort into this connection somebody is just not stable and they keep running away because we have the six of swords here so this person keeps running away but then coming back because they think that they're going to have a missed opportunity with you with the four of cups and i feel like like i said you know about this third party some of you do some of you don't but you're dealing with someone who's very secretive and um, this could be your energy as well pisces because you are the moon here okay major arcana someone has some secrets but i feel like something's going to come out in the month of september okay and this person's going to have to make a choice because remember we do have divine timing here so like something's going to change something's going to unfold you're going to find something out or this person is going to come to you and tell you that they still want this connection because we do have reincarnation here we have them being confused on one end, right? They're reflecting. They're trying to figure out what they want. Um, they, but they see that time is running out. They don't want to lose you. But this person, I feel like they may not be ready to settle down. Or maybe they feel like um, once they do settle down with you, Pisces, that you require a lot out of them. I don't know. I'm picking up the energy of that. Somebody feels like they don't have enough to offer you. Because we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse here. We have the two of swords and then we have the five of pentacles. So this is a lack of something, a lack of money, um, attention or something that this person is just not giving you. With this ace of pentacles reverse and this five of pentacles, I'm picking up the energy that this may, for some of you, be about money. Where this person may feel like they don't have enough to take care of you or maybe there's a money issue with them that you're not aware of and maybe that's why they're not coming towards you. Um, or you could be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, because of the pentacles. But somebody is very confused. They're at a crossroads. You know, there's two people here. They need to make a choice about something. I feel like you're going to be stepping away from this person if you haven't already until they sort of figure out what they want here. It's like you're not going to play their games anymore, Pisces. And if this is not you feeling this way, this could be your partner feeling this way about you. But in the month of September, I think you're going to be um, bringing forth some different energy here because you're just tired of this person being off course, okay, being careless with your heart and just sitting on the fence, not making a choice. Okay, so those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading Pisces. I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie to Row. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. So you can follow me there, and I will see you guys next month. Bye.